Hi guys, welcome to this video. I had a request from someone on my channel how to fix this error message in front of us. Windows no disk error message keeps popping up on the screen. Now this is the nag box that keeps popping up and you can't close it and it annoys him when he boots up. And uh, I'm going to tell you how to try and eradicate this problem. It's not going to be easy because sometimes uh, it's not related to uh, spyware or Trojans as such. But nine times out of ten it is. So the first thing I'm going to suggest you do really is scan your PC. Now I don't mean scan your PC with your you know antivirus that you've got on your PC. You need to come to a website like so, okay, and do an online scan. Now you can actually come to eset.com uh, forward slash online scan forward slash index.php. If you go to this website here, you can actually use this software to install on your PC, just go yes and then start. It will give you a little drop down box to actually install something. Install it, it's perfectly safe and it will take some time to actually install as you can see ActiveX Control. You're just going to have to right click on that and install this, okay? This will then actually start to scan your system. It will take some time to scan the whole system but once it's done uh, you're going to be pretty much good to go. Now I'm not going to install all this because I don't need to scan anything, okay? But uh, that's what you need to do. You need to come to a site like this. Now there is other sites out there you can use if you don't like this. If, if this is not your particular favourite type of site, you can actually use Kaspersky or Bitdefender or whatever floats your boat really. But I know this is one of the best on there. You got you got Antivirus. You got a few others as well. But I mean the options there for you. But this is mainly the one I would use, okay? Now we've got that one out of the way. The next thing you want to do, once you've done this full scan, hopefully it will find what you need to find and delete what you've got. And you should be back up and running. Now, if that's not the case and you've still got the problem, you need to go on to the next stage, which is using a program called Combo Fix. Okay? Now you mustn't download this from any other site other than bleepingcomputer.com or something like that. Okay? or I'll put it up on my site and it's safe to download from there okay if you're gonna I'll show you what I mean you just double click on this let it install I can't show it on my desktop because my desktop 64-bit Windows XP and it doesn't seem to want to work on there okay you do not download it from these sites these are not affiliated to the program at all combofix.org and uh, combofixdownload.com don't download it there it's they'll charge you or it's moody don't do it okay you need to come to this place here bleepingcomputer.com combo fix how to use combo fix okay or you can download it from my site anyway so you just say yes to this and let it come boot up you'll get a blue screen like so and it's preparing to run just let it do its thing Okay. and all you need to do is just let it run now it's going to take some time to do this okay so what it's going to say if it hasn't got a recovery console okay so what you need to do you need to install it say yes say yes and then you start download now you may not need to do this bit okay but if you need to do it then you need to do it okay this is a virtual machine so it's not going to have it on there so I'm going to let this do its thing let this download I'm going to pause the screen at this stage okay once that's done you just need to let the scan carry on okay now you're going to see completed stage now this can be up to 50 stages and it will grow with time depending on how many uh, you know sort of parts they add to this program so just what I would suggest is just leave it to do its thing okay now I'm gonna pause the screen I'm not gonna sit there and let you watch all these okay so just let it do its thing and uh, I'll see you back in a second okay so that's 50 stages done now I think we should be nearly there and it will move on to the next stage now you're going to get a log once this is all finished. 
OK. And normally you post these logs up into helpful forums and places like that. I just haven't got the time to do all, just decipher all those myself um, on YouTube. But I mean, if I'm in the process of getting a forum set up, so we'll go from there. So it's going to get a log, which is what you could actually post on a forum to actually find out if there's any infection there. Okay, so there we have it. We have our log now, and as you can see, it's um, it's put the actual information there, okay? And it's saying it doesn't have a recovery console installed, but it's a virtual machine, so I don't really care, really. But you should actually go through that process of doing that, okay? And uh, basically, that's it. You need to look at this uh, log there and check it out, and it will be located in your C root directory, okay? It'll be here that's where it will locate the log now what I suggest you do after that you should be clean after that but what I suggest you do is uh, go to the internet I can actually close this off now actually I'll just go back to my normal machine now and what you can do now is, as I said, you need to go to the internet next and get something like malware bytes. I'd give that, um, I'd give that a go. Okay, so download malware bytes. Come to this website, malwarebytes.org. Download the free version, install that, and run it. Okay, make sure that's all clean. Now, once you've done that. If you're still getting the same problem, the next thing you want to be doing is coming to your desktop, right click on my computer, go manage. This will open up a box like so. You need to go to disk management. Okay. And once you're in disk management, let me just open this up for you a little bit so you can see. Once you're in disk management, you want to change the letters to these drives here, okay? And any external drives that you've got. Now you must make sure that you're not using drive letters of already that you've in use. So what I'd suggest you do is right click here and change the drive letter like so, the path, okay? And then you need to change, click on change and assign a new letter, okay? Like so. And pick a letter that's not in use and apply an OK. Now you do that not to the C drive, don't do the C drive, leave C drive as it is, just do the other external drives that you've got or anything of that nature. Reboot the machine and see if that fixes your problem. Okay, if that doesn't fix your problem you need to uninstall um, your floppy drive or something of that nature. If you've got a floppy drive you come to right click on my computer, go properties hardware device manager and you'll need to look inside here for your floppy okay and you can actually uninstall that all right uninstall that and then hopefully that should be the end of your problem if it's not let us know and uh, I'll see what else you can try to fix your problem okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope this video has been some use here if it has please subscribe to my channel and uh, show your support, leave your comments if you've got any questions, if you've got any requests for videos like this guy did, send me a message and I'll do my best to make that video for you. I hope this solves your problem, thanks very much for watching, bye for now.